Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing TLE's One Room Bone Hub. This box is ready by easy. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so we're opening our terminals here. I'm going to start burning a net discover minus R to net 0.0.1 for my gateway slash 24 slash I for my interface ET0. Doing this, we do get the IP the box to net 0.0.235. So I'm going to do control shift zoom. So we're ready at maps. Can so do M map minus SC for default scripts. Minus SV for numeration. It's kind of ports in the IP. I'm doing this, I'm doing minus V for verbos. I'm looking at the port, we do have port 80 open for HTTP and port 22 open for SSH. So we're we'll going to start with visiting port 8080. What was it, port 8080? And this thing, we're going to go to Apache Tomcat 9, right? Uh, we also do have the manager app and also the host manager. So I'm going to control YouTube source code. It doesn't seem like we do have anything, right? So I'm gonna start by doing some narration and running a gold buster. So I'm gonna do control shift Z. Run a gold buster mode minus U. We'll enter the IP address minus W slash for slash user share word list. We'll do door buster directory. List to with the medium dot txt. We'll do extensions as HTML, txt, and also PHP. Look at this. We do get manager, docs, example, and also shell. Um, if I do visit the shell, let's see what this is. Um, it does seem like this is just a shell. It's, it seems like the author did deploy a, a war file, right? I'm guessing just for testing, just to see if we would get a shell in the box, right? Here also do have a uh, slash manager. So I'm going to start by testing for default grids. So I'm going to try Tomcat, Tomcat. Or maybe if I just can't, if I just cancel this, you'll see that we still do have a default username and also a password. So I'm just going to copy secret. We'll try Tomcat and also the password as secret. And we don't get anything, right? Doing this, I'm gonna do control shift Z. I'm gonna start by clearing my terminals here. I'm gonna start up MSF console and see if we can use like an auxiliary scanner for to brute force for Tomcat, right? So, doing this, we can use the search command. So, I'm just gonna search for like Tomcat and see if we can find, um, we'll use this auxiliary scanner here to brute force for Tomcat. So, we'll use that. We'll show options. Here, we can start by specifying the R host. So, we'll use 10.0.0.235. Um, you can also change the target URL for the host here in this in this example we do have it under manager slash html which is this right here or you can either change it for host manager right which should be host manager slash html um, i'm gonna set the verbose to true uh, for the pass file i'm also going to set this for just default what the display has it as under user shared metasploit framework which is tomcat default pass rate and also tomcat default users rate so do run at doing this, we do a log successful as Tomcat rule one, right? So let's see if we can log in. So I'm just going to go under manager HTML, Tomcat, we did a password as rule one. Doing this, we do a log successful, right? So looking at this, we can start by deploying a WAR file. So I'm going to go to hack tricks. And I'm just going to search for like hack tricks Tomcat, right? So do this, I'm just going to do control F and do MSF Venom. So I'm just going to copy this. Let's put my terminals here. Do control shift Z, control V. I'm going to start by changing out the port to 4444. Change my IP address to 10.0.069. So this is going to be using this payload with this IP address port. I'm going to specify minus F as a war file and I'll put it to refshell.war, right? Uh, so we can go back to manager, go to browse, we'll go to other locations, backup, go to bone hub, search for this, fails, refshell.war, go to deploy. Um, I'm going to undeploy this shell that was already on the box, so we'll just go to undeploy. I'm going to copy link location. Well, I'm starting start with my listener first, so we'll do all rev netcat minus lnvp on 44.44. And you see, do you see that we do get a connect, right? And now we are under Tomcat, right? So I'm going to start by exporting my term. As you go to xterm, we can start by running a slash bin slash bash minus i. Doesn't seem to work, so we'll just do python, which python 3. And we do have under we do have this under user bin python 3 so i'm gonna do python 3 minus c we'll start by importing pty colon pty dot spawn 
We'll start by running a slash bin slash bash. So slash bin slash bash. And we'll end this with a close this out, right? And now we are under Tomcat, right? So I'm gonna do ID. I'm also gonna run a pseudo minus cell. And use that password for rule one. And does this seem to work, right? Okay, so we're gonna start by doing some enumeration, going under slash home. We do have a user as daily is here. Alice minus LA. It does seem like we do also do have a dot SSH. So I'm gonna do CGNT dot SSH. Um cat the ID underscore say which is the private key. And see if we can get a password for dailies, right? So I clear my terminals here. We'll be into ID underscore say. I think I copied this wrong. But then there we'll right quit. I'm gonna change the permission, so we'll do chmod700 for ID underscore SA. We'll do SSH into dailies at 10.0.0.235. We'll do minus i for ID underscore SA. And it is asking us for passphrase, right? So we're gonna be using SSH to John. So we'll go to user share John, SSH to John. We'll do ID underscore SA and we'll go to crack. We'll just name this crack.txe. And now we do have our file ready for John to crack, right? So we'll use John minus my is a word list. Is equal to slash user share word list. We'll go to rocky.txe and so crack.txe. It does seem like we do get a password as vodka 06, right? So we're gonna see if we can try to SSH with this. And it is still denied, right? In this case, um, what I would do is actually just put my own SSH keys in here. So, but we're gonna see if we can use the password we use on that, right? And it does seem like this is under dailies, right? So I'm gonna do ID. And now we are under Alex D group, right? So we can probably do a pervex for Alex D. So we're going to go to slash home. We do have a file here as notes, right? So I'm going to start by cutting out notes.txe. And here it does seem like they prepared a backup script for us, which is under user local backup.sh. So let's see what this file is, right? So we'll do an Alice minus lay on that file. And it does seem like they did run your permissions on here for like chmod 777 for backup.sh, which basically means any file, any person on the system can edit this, edit this backup.sh, right? So I'm gonna cut this out and see what this is doing. So first it is backing up a file to op slash tomcat, which is basically the default installation for tomcat, backing up the files with tar and basically listing out the files, right? So it does seem like this is a cron job. We can probably use like PSPY to see if this would be a cron job or not. Um, so CD into that file location real quick. So we'll go to user local bin. In this case, we can either put a reverse shell in here and see if we do get a connection back. So let's start by doing that, right? So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go to pen test monkey. We'll just go to rev shell. I'm just gonna do control F, go to temp. I'm just gonna copy this, put this in a text editor. So we're gonna start by echoing this out first. I'm gonna start by changing my IP address, 10.0.069, also 4444. And we'll put this into, we, you can either overwrite this or put this at the end of the script. I'm just gonna put this at the end of the script. So we'll do backup, we'll do backup um, .sh. I'm just gonna copy this. Uh, before doing that, I actually do want to run a lintp.sh on here. So I'm going to go under slash dev slash shm. And um, let's see. So we'll go under slash documents. We're going to privilege escalation, lintp's. And we should have a PSP in here, right? So we do have that under there. So we'll do python3 minus m http.server. So we can start a server. We'll do some port 8081. Oh, get http. 10.0.069, I'm port 8081. And we'll get our PSPY uh, 64, right? So we can do chmod plus x for PSPY 64. And we can start by running our PSPY 64, right? So doing this, I'm going to start by getting other reverse connection on here. So I'm going to start with my listener. So I'll do all our rap, netcat minus LMVP on 4444. So now we can go to rev shell here and we do get a connect rate so i'm gonna start exporting my term is equal to x term so we'll do python 3 minus c we'll import pty colon pty dots spawn 
runny slash bin slash bash slash bin slash bash and we are under tomcat right so i do id i'm gonna switch users to thels or switch users thels i think it was a uh, vod cause zero six and we do get a like cells right so let's go under that notes again so we'll cat out notes.txe this is under this right here So we'll cd into here and we do our backup.sh right so let's go back over here so we can echo this into our backup.sh so we're just going to copy that now we do our reverse shell um, i'm going to start with my listener here so we'll do all wrap net cap my cell mvp on 4444 so now let's cat our backup.sh and you do see that our reverse shell is in here right so here, uh, when the when this our backup, when the backup .sh is executed, we should see on linp stars or on PSPY, and we should also get a reverse connection as root, right? Doing this, you did see that the bash underscore, or you see we did see that we did get a reverse shell here. It ran a bash for backup .sh, and it's under the UID as zero right, which is root. Um, so we do ID. Now we are under root ls and cat our root.txe. Well, guys, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.